All right, it is haul time once again. Today is July 22, 2013. Uh, I've got some Matchbox cars to show you guys. Let's get it on. Picked up the uh, Rock Shocker. First time for me to ever pick up this casting. Never really liked the mold, but I do love the purple on it, so I decided to pick one up. Again, another first time for me. This is my first time to pick up this mold. Road Tripper 4x4. Some of the other molds were just, they really looked so cheesy. But this one, this one was actually pretty nice. Um, for some reason, I like the tempos on it. Not a big fan of the uh, pistachio type of color there. But yeah, pretty cool. This is an old model. Again, first time to ever pick up this model, uh, this casting. It's from 1996. I don't know if you can see that. 19, uh, whatever. Uh, the '69 uh, Chevy Camaro SS396, done in gold. Not a big fan of gold, gold cars, but it is pretty heavy. Die cast body, yeah, pretty heavy. So I decided to pick it up as well. <clears throat> Picked up some construction vehicles. Again, first time to pick up these molds. Uh, this is a new mold, 2012, the Dump Dozer. I, I like these fantasy type of uh, vehicles. And it is construction, big sucker for construction vehicles. That's pretty cool. Picked up the uh, first time again to pick this one up. This has been done in orange and blue, but the yellow one just pops for me. So, really nice. Highway maintenance truck with the uh, plow right there. Really, really nice. Uh, I'm actually quite surprised that I never picked this one up, this, this casting. Uh, sooner <clears throat> picked up a couple of these I love construction vehicles the ground grinder uh, first time again to pick this one up decided to pick one up pick two so I could open up one and it's nice uh, metal die cast metal body eh, plastic base what can you expect but it's actually really nice um, yeah uh, I love construction vehicles if I haven't actually said it enough times all right more city vehicles we got the MBX street cleaner I like this I like this casting this one I wasn't a big fan of this This is new for 2012 actually no yes for 2012 this was a new casting uh, but uh, it's been repainted for 2013 for the uh, 60th anniversary uh, sewing machine. There is a 2013 release of the 2012 sewing machine with the 60th anniversary logo, but it does not have the number right here. That I'm talking about the red one, which I don't have right now, and that's something else. But anyway, but this one's actually a lot nicer. I like the tampos on this one a lot better than the red one. So decided to pick another one up. This one, <laughs> I like these things. Even if they have really teeny tiny wheels, a Blizzard Buster, really nice. Uh, much better than the second than the second version, which was done in red and white. This one's really nice. Looks more realistic. Yeah, pretty cool. Look at that polar bear. <clears throat> Picked up a couple of these. The Flame Smasher, simply because I want to open it up. I like trucks. I like these big trucks. Uh, unfortunately, it only has a die cast base. Uh, both the tank and the cab are in plastic, but the, the die cast base extends all the way from the back up to the front. Wildfire fire. You all see that? Fire retardant chemicals. Very nice. I think this is new for 2013, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no. Oh, yeah, 2012, right there. So it is new for 2013. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, very nice. I like these big trucks. Pretty cool. Alright. Picked up several of these. I'm a big fan again, as I said, of construction vehicles. Uh, it's just pretty big and heavy. Uh, I mean, colors are kitty colors, but... I like these things. This is the All-Terrain Crane, MBX Construction. And check it out. I'm sure Alex will have a blast playing with this one because this thing goes up. Ah, it doesn't. Well, can't have them all. I, I like this neon orange and green motif. Um, I I'm really, uh, I, there, there was the, uh, there was another smaller construction vehicle I, I picked up, which was much smaller than this, but had the same colors. I absolutely loved it. Uh, yeah, 
Did you roll it well? Yeah, pretty much. He's heavy. Heavier than this guy. Pretty heavy because of the die cast body. Would have been cool if the base was also die cast, but hey. All right. <clears throat> this is a uh, reissue, repaint, 2010. Uh, copyrights, 2010. This was released in 2011, I think. The Ford Police Interceptor. I like that, that big police. We, I, I showed you guys a couple of haul videos ago an uh, an interceptor that had no that had no police tempos yet had like the whichever state it was in but uh this one's really nice look at that light bar on top pretty cool <clears throat> uh pierce dash fire engine much better than the 2012 release and it's got the uh pierce logo right there one century Strong. I don't know if you can always read that. Keeping this one M M O C because of that logo right there. Pretty cool. One century strong. I don't know if you can read it. But oh, very nice. White and red. Very classic. This one, I am looking for another one so I can open it up. Um, I live in Asia, so <laughs> Asian vehicles are yeah, they're stereotypical of us. But I, I, it's cool. Look at that. The Isuzu Amigo. Uh, is it new? Nope. 1991 and 2012. Huh. Two copyrights. Maybe they changed something. Got rid of a few diecast parts here and there. But it's actually pretty cool. Uh, you're not a big fan of the Asian trucks? This is not too bad. I actually like it. Cute little truck. Isuzu Amigo. Picked up two of these. The Chevy Corvette Convertible. Uh... I, I, you know, this is, I don't know which year this was in, 2000 or 19, I, I can't remember, but, oh, 2000, that's right, uh, 2000 Corvette, it's nice, I like the heavy base, I've seen this one in gold, didn't pick it up, but in green, actually looks pretty nice, uh-huh, look at that, yep, we'll, we'll open it some other time, mm -hmm. and lastly, uh, this is, I think, what a lot of collectors are after as well. Um, and I'm, look, you know, I, I like it. I, I, I think, you know, I thought it was, it was, it was going to be much bigger than, than an actual, but uh, it still looks really nice. This is the two-story bus, not to be confused with the London double-decker bus, but this is the two-story bus. It's new. It's 2012. It's new for 2013. So, very, very nice. I'm actually quite pleased with how it turned out. I thought it was only going to be an all-plastic base, but it's actually die-cast, a lower half of the body. The roof is in, done in plastic. And the base, if I'm not mistaken, could possibly be metal as well. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Sorry, folks. It's only the base that's metal. You've got plastic body. Yeah, that's what I thought to begin with. Plastic body, plastic roof, plastic interiors, and just the metal base. So that's, that's the reason it's, it's pretty light. But still, you know, still a very, very nice car or bus to add to your collection. I like it. I, I, I don't know why. I'm just really, really liking this one. So there you go, folks. That's my Matchbox haul, Matchbox haul for 2013, July 22nd. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, click thumbs up icon at the bottom. Catch my reviews of action figures on my Chefatron YouTube channel. Uh, check out my uh, latest haul, uh, latest toy purchases at uh, Twitter, twittercom slash trans Toy sightings at Instagram at FXTrans, and mini haul videos on Keek. Uh, thanks for watching.